Hi there, so in this tutorial it's going to be pretty quick it's just to show you how to set up a material. Um, I'm going to be using this material, I really like it, it's uh, uh, called Hardwood and it's by uh, someone called Constructs um, and I'm getting it from a site called vraymaterials.de which is a great site, it's got 2401 materials and uh, you can just set up an account and freely download these materials and a lot of them are very nice, there's some dodgy ones but the majority are really good, a lot better than I could do anyway it also helps you learn how to make materials yourself so I'm just going to download this material now um, and I'm going to extract it to I've got a folder called Vero Materials, I'm just going to extract it into there um, I've already got this material, but I'll just replace it. And so we go, we've downloaded the material, as simple as that. And then if we open up 3ds Max, we've just set up a simple scene with three cubes in. Um, and we're going to texture these cubes. I'll press M to open up my material editor. And yours will probably look like this, either that or the compact. I'd advise using the slate material editor because it's much better. Um, I'm just going to go open material library, V-Ray materials, and it's called Hardwood by Construct. So just double click on that. If we drag it into view one, <coughs> we'll see that it's a, a relatively complex material, but reflect map, bump map, glossy map, and diffuse. Uh, and we just need to load in these bitmaps because uh, 3ds Max can't find them because it's looking in the wrong, wrong directory. So we just want to open up that same folder that we were in um, before uh, and just open up these maps. Okay, as simple as that and our material is pretty much ready here and all we need to really do is just drag it onto one of our boxes um, with this little circle you just drag and let go um, if we also tick this show shaded material and viewport we'll be able to see a quick preview of what it will look like so I'll just close down the slate material editor and just have a look um, if you want to you can uh, use the uh, UVW um, map and just select box and gizmo and you can scale up this material and just move it around so all four, uh, six sides sorry, aren't exactly the same um, and that's basically it that's one of our boxes textured I'll just show you with a couple of other materials as well just to uh, prove that it does actually work there you go See how simple that is. Um, so yeah, I might as well uh, just do a couple more materials. I'll do a metallic material and something else. I've got loads of materials from this site. It's where I go for pretty much all of them. Um, I need special ma machined material. So this is a much more complex material. Hopefully I've got all the maps. So yeah, just load all your bitmaps in. And you can also apply it to your object by just selecting the object selecting the material and assign the material to selection um, and then I'll just do one final material um, how about something to choose from, I'll just use this uh, ceramic material 
because I, I think the ceramic material works really well with the HDRI lights. And this ceramic material is fully procedural, uh, procedural so it doesn't need to load in any bitmaps. Uh, I'll just up the resolution of this a bit more. And hopefully, it'll turn out nicely. There we go. I'm not really too sure whether that, um, uh, the special ma machine material is sort of tiling a lot closer than I think it's supposed to be. So again, the uh, UVW map, we might want to just scale that out a bit more. sort of getting on it. But that is the basics of creating materials in V-Ray. So thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more tutorials. If you want a specific tutorial then please do suggest it in the comments and I'll uh, be sure to make it providing I know how to.